Welcome to Vegan Method. In this video I'm making Tardig, which is a Persian rice dish where you intentionally burn the bottom of it to give you a crusty coating. It's simple, delicious and is great fun to make. So the first thing I'm going to do is to prepare my kebabs. Um, for this I've got some button mushrooms. I've got three different coloured bell peppers and they're cut into chunks. I've got one courgette cut into medium thick strips. I've got one medium sized red onion and some cherry tomatoes. It really depends on what you want on your kebab and how much so the measurements are really up to you when it comes to this. For the marinade to go on the kebabs I've got two tablespoons of olive oil, three cloves of crushed garlic, the juice of one lemon, half a teaspoon of dried basil and some salt and pepper. So you need to get some kebab sticks and a brush to put the marinade onto the vegetables and also need an oven tray with a heat proof sheet ready to go into the oven. So the next step is pretty basic and it's just to thread each vegetable onto the kebab stick in any way you like. Um, I'm trying to get a piece of each different colour and each different flavour onto the stick but if you like mushrooms over tomatoes you can put more mushrooms on. It really is up to you and um, I'm just going to speed this up so we'll get a few seconds of me threading uh, vegetables onto the kebab stick. Once the sticks are finished and full of vegetables you then need to put the marinade onto the vegetables making sure that you turn the sticks to get both sides. I also took a teaspoon and filled any gaps in the mushrooms with any remaining marinade to make sure I capture as much of the flavour of that as I possibly could. So once I've finished coating the vegetables I'm going to leave them on one side for around 15 minutes to soak in some of the marinade and I'm also going to preheat the oven ready for them to go in. Now I'm moving on to the tardig. For this I've got two cups of basmati rice, a pinch of saffron, quarter cup of almonds which has been broken up in a pestle and mortar, a quarter cup of pistachios, a quarter cup of dried cranberries, some olive oil and some warm water. The first thing I'm going to do is rehydrate the cranberries by pouring the warm water on top of them. While these take on some liquid I'm going to put some water in a big pan and bring that to the boil and add the rice. The next thing to do is to toast the nuts. Gently heat them through until you get some of the oils come out and some of the flavour. Once the nuts are finished they can go into a bowl ready to be used for later on and we now have the rice boiling and we want to boil it for around five minutes. We don't want to fully cook it because we're going to fry it in the pan later. So I'm just going to quickly fry the cranberries just to puff them back up and then put them to one side. Now the rice is finished so I've drained it and put it into a bowl. I'm going to add a tablespoon of olive oil and then a pinch of the saffron. Once I've stirred that in I'm now going to add the nuts into the rice and also give that a good stir so it's nice and mixed in. Then I'm adding the cranberries and stirring them around as well and while I do this I'm just going to put a pan on the heat and warm it up. So I'm now adding the rice mixture into the frying pan. I'm going to pack it down and what will happen is it will cook underneath giving a really crispy texture and I'm also going to put a lid on the top to help steam the rice that's on top. Just before putting the lid on top I've used a chopstick and I've made some holes in the rice to let the steam get through the dish. The rice takes roughly 15 to 20 minutes so now I can put the kebabs in the oven and cook them through which will roughly take the same time. So 15 minutes later and the rice is finished. Admittedly I made too much and it was quite difficult to actually turn the rice over but as you can see by the uh, finished dish it's crusty on top exactly how I wanted it and the rice is perfectly cooked. So the recipe is designed for four people and it was just about right. Um, once served with the kebabs I had leftovers for a couple of days but it tastes really good. It was perfectly balanced with the sweet and salty and uh, the kebabs obviously just made it taste great too. And that's my take on Persian rice, Tardig. 
It's very colourful, very tasty. It's a whole mouthful of different flavours and it's, it's, it's not too difficult to make. As always, thank you very much for watching. Please feel free to like, subscribe, leave comments below and hit me on Instagram where I'm doing a 3,000 follower giveaway. Take care.